most of you know, Christina is my big and only sister. But she isn't just my sister. She is also the best Aunt Mimi, my personal decorator, <laughs> my PIC, partner in crime, <laughs> but most importantly, my best friend in this world. We didn't start out like this, though. Growing up, let's just say, Christina was really good at cutting me with her words, and I, well, I was really good at just cutting her with my nails. <laughs> Even though that explains a lot of us growing up, Christina was also my role model. I got to learn from all of her choices, mostly good. I won't go into the other ones. But all in all, I was always taken care of by Christina growing up, and having that older sister to look up to and learn from was a blessing. Till this day, I am still taken care of by my sister because she is my best friend and she is always there for me. I would not fully be the person I am today if it weren't for my older sister in my life. I can only wish this type of relationship for any sisters out there. I am so happy you found your forever partner in happiness, because when you feel happiness, I do too. Sister, sister. <laughs> I love you. So Omar, for you. <laughs> This brings some big responsibilities and shoes to fill. You are now her forever back scratcher, her forever songwriter, even if it is hot cross buttons on the recorder, her forever handyman and assistant decorator. Do all the heavy lifting and whatever she tells you to do. And you are her forever in this life. And I couldn't have asked for a better forever for my sister. Thank you, Omar, for being that person. I can see the love you have for Christina, and I know it will last a lifetime. I look forward to officially having a Bill, which is my brother-in-law, and an awesome Uncle Omi to Logan and Gus. So let's all raise our glass and toast to this beautiful couple that I love so much. I wish you guys all the love and happiness in your marriage. Love y'all. Cheers. Good evening. For those of you who don't know me, I am Aaron, Omar's younger, much shorter brother. Uh, I want to first uh, say thank you to everybody for coming here, uh, from wherever you came from. Um, with all the uncertainty of this year, uh, I'm happy to see that Christina was uh, able to pull off such a beautiful wedding because we all know that if my brother had any say in, in this, we would all be listening. <laughs> We'd all be. Uh, sitting around, uh, slamming fireball, listening to Justin Timberlake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was honored when he asked me to be his best man. Naturally, as his only brother, I assumed that I would be picked, but I was ready to fight Sean if need be, <laughs> wherever he is. Uh, you might find this uh, hard to believe if we didn't always uh, get along uh, growing up. Um, I was the annoying little brother that always followed him around everywhere, wanting to do everything that he did. Um, when he went, when he started going to school, I went to school, or I wanted to go to school even though I wasn't old enough. Uh, when he started playing little league and summer tennis, yes, my brother did other things than, cro than CrossFit. Um, I wanted to do it too. Uh, I looked, up, I looked up to him so much that he could easily con convince me to do things. Um, and I, knowing that I would get in trouble, but I would do it anyway because I didn't know any better. For example, my brother once convinced me that opening presents one night before Christmas was a good idea. You may be asking yourself, how much convincing did I really need? Well, the problem with that was that I was still sleeping in a crib at the time. So the only way for me to get out to open these presents was somebody actually taking me out of the crib. Of course, my mother later found me underneath the crib with an open present, and my brother was nowhere to be found. <laughs> Something uh, that he will deny to this day. Although I followed in his footsteps most of my life, I did beat him at one thing, and that was getting married first. And that's probably because my brother likes his alone time. Uh, hold on. He likes his alone time, um, and he's independent. But then Christina came along. 
I noticed Christina uh, coming around more often, uh, and my brother would downplay the relationship. He'd just say they, they were good friends, uh, she's fun to hang out with, and she has good taste in beer. <laughs> anyway, because he's not so touchy feeling, I didn't, I didn't want to press him on it. But I knew things were different with their relationship when he randomly texted me one day saying, so what do you think about Christina? It's like, finally, right? Uh, in fact, me and Sam, we talked about how they had so much in common, we knew that, you know, something was up. By the time I knew it, they were moving in together and he was sending me photos of engagement rings, so that's how I knew it was serious. Uh, I, I know you've been together for a while, and you've gotten to know each other pretty well, but Christina, I'll offer a few words of advice. My brother has a strong personality. That, that likely came from being uh, raised by several strong women, including my mom, her sisters, and my grandma, who I know is with us today, um, and she would have loved you. My brother is kind, loving, and, um, and I know he will respect you throughout your marriage. Uh, if not, <clears throat> those women that helped raise him will come. <laughs> Christina, I couldn't think of anyone more perfect for my brother. My mom always wanted girls, now she has two. Uh, so embrace the gifts and the jewelry that she can dress us up in. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Uh, I wish you all a marriage full of love, laughter, and happiness. And congratulations. Cheers. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to this beautiful celebration of love between Omar, also known as Sunny, and Christina. I'd like to thank you all for being here today. This special occasion is more meaningful by having each of you with us today to celebrate. I'd like to especially thank my family and friends who traveled all this way to be here with us. I'd also like to say that even though they are not here physically, Wello Gayo, Wella Gaya, Wello Mama and Wella Nana would have loved to have been a huge part of this wedding. Both Wellas would have definitely taken over and had several dress changes. <laughs> I have been blessed with two amazing sons, but always dreamed of having a daughter. Three years ago, I was blessed with my daughter in law, Samantha, and now I am once again being blessed with another. Christina, I am so proud to welcome you into our family and to now be able to call you my daughter. I want to thank you for loving my son, for supporting him and making him a better person every day. All I've ever wanted is for my son to be happy and seeing how happy he is with you is the greatest gift I could ever receive. Dory and Gary, I want to assure you that your daughter will be loved respected and well taken care of. I have instilled in my son the importance of treating her with respect and catering to her every need. Please do not worry about her well-being, happiness, and how much she will be loved. My family welcomes her with open arms. And here comes the heart. <laughs> Sunny, my firstborn. You didn't come with instructions. <laughs> I've done the best I could to give you all you've ever needed and wanted. From early, early morning drop-offs to tennis tournaments and band competitions to very late night pickups after your out-of-town football games with a water burger by my side. <laughs> I'm not sure how you convinced me, but I even let you travel across the state with your band, Fractured Start. <laughs> I, try ne I try to never miss one of your marching band events, even the ones at Texas State. And you'll never fully understand how proud I felt every time you stepped onto that marching field. But nothing compares to how proud I am of the wonderful, loving, and caring man you have become and all you have accomplished. I thank God every day for giving me the privilege of being your mother. I have no... Yes, it's more than <laughs> I have no doubt that you will be a great husband to Christina 
and that you will have a beautiful life together. The boys were raised on country music, and uh, of course the salsa band. <laughs> and I heard a song the other day, and at the end, of, or somewhere in between, it said, uh, I hope you see the seven wonders. I hope you sail the seven seas. I hope you left the whole world, whole world in your heart, but you still have got room for me. I hope you find a girl that treats you right, and on your wedding night, I'll raise a toast. And I hope she understands I'll always be the woman that loves you the most. Congratulations. <laughs> How close can I get to her? <laughs> oh my God. The first time we met was for a happy hour. Oh, <laughs> At 54th Street. I have to tell you, I liked you from the first time I met you. He laughed at all of my jokes. <laughs> but seriously, getting to know you over the years, I've learned really what a wonderful man you are. When you asked me first for Christina's hand in marriage, that spoke volumes of your character. The fact that you chose a career in teaching, one of the most underappreciated jobs in the world, and also, did I mention that you were also a teacher of the year? You know? Uh, that's all that has to be said. I have to admit, though, I am a little jealous of you. Not only can you play multiple instruments, but dang, you can sing too. <laughs> None of which is on my bucket list. But now, really number one, the most important thing to a father is how you treat his daughter. I cannot think of another man in the whole world who would treat her better than you. And with that being said, I am so proud to call you my son in law Christina, seriously. <laughs> uh, from the first day you were born to this very moment, you will always be my little girl. Time has flown by way too fast, and here you are married to this wonderful man. You two are about to embark on a new chapter in your lives, and fond memories from the past are about to become great new memories for the future, and I hope that I can be a part of them. It doesn't seem that long ago, Christina, that we would spend a whole Saturday afternoon at a swim meet for hours and hours at end just to watch you swim for 50 seconds. It was a good time. <laughs> but, but seriously, it was worth the wait. We used to love going to festivals. Do you remember the Renaissance and the Winnie Rice Festival with Uncle George and Aunt Lenny? We used to travel around doing all that sort of stuff when you were young, and I just can't tell you how those memories, how much they mean to me. But I have to admit, I was a bad dad. When you came to my house and lived on church's tenders and Popeye's pools, <laughs> I am so glad you didn't follow that except for pizza. You are the pizza queen. <laughs> oh, and did I mention you also won Teacher of the Year? Awesome. So I, I am so proud of what you have done with your life. And the best part, this is just the beginning. Now that I will always be there, know that I will always be there for both of you. And with that, can we have a nice round of applause for Mr. and Mrs. Diaz. Ladies and gentlemen,